While we're spending so much more time at home these days, I've asked some designers to give us some tips of how we could improve certain areas in our homes. So please come along and see what they have to say. Don't eat that. So great for me. Oops. <laughs> Today we're going to show you how to organize a bookshelf. You could display your books horizontal or vertical. Bookshelves are just not for books. Bookshelves are a great way of displaying family pictures, pieces of art, or treasures that you may have gotten on a trip, a mixture of books, art, objects. Every now and then, why not add flowers to a bookshelf? It changes in the season sometime or changes with new books. It's a work in progress. It's a changing display. Hi, how's beautiful? My name is Alexandra Gator and I'm a home decor YouTuber from Toronto. And today I'm gonna to show you how to style a bookshelf. The key to styling a bookshelf that looks designed and filled with personality is layers and dimension. So to create layers, I like to alternate how I'm stacking books. Sometimes I'm just standing them upright, sometimes I'm stacking them horizontally. And another thing I love to do to add layers and height to my shelves is placing a trinket on top of a stack of books. So keeping layers and dimension in mind, a really easy way is just to stagger your art. So putting some behind, some at the forefront, adding a trinket in front of a print, and suddenly your bookshelf just looks really full and it looks like you took the time to style it. A bookshelf doesn't just have to be for books. It can be a total reflection of you, maybe things you've collected through your travels, photos, art prints, and you know, it's a beautiful backdrop. Another thing I love to do is color code my books. It's really easy, I mean, depending on how many books you have, and suddenly your bookshelf looks like a beautiful rainbow. Hey everyone, I'm Paloma Contreras. I'm an interior designer, shop owner, and author based in Houston, Texas. Today, I'm welcoming you into my home where I'm going to share some of my very favorite tips and tricks for making sure that your shelves look as stylish as possible. You're gonna to wanna to start with the bookshelves at eye level. These are the ones that are within view most of the time. Only rule that I'm gonna ask you to follow is that if you have bookshelves, you need to have books. Figure out what you're working with, lay it all out, also keep in mind what decorative accessories you're working with so you'll then group books together of similar sizes and similar colors because that looks a lot more cohesive and is more pleasant to the eye one of the best things about having a big bank of bookcases like this is the opportunity to share and show some of my favorite things to have a place for them where i can live with them each day be sure also to leave a little bit of space for future addition. It takes a little bit of trial and error. So be gentle with yourself, invite a friend over to help you with it, open up a bottle of wine, pop on some tunes and have fun with it. Hey House Beautiful fans, I'm Garo Kedigan, New York City interior designer. Today we are at my house in Montreal and I'm gonna show you how I'd like to style a bookcase. The key for styling bookcases for me is having a wide range of objects and books. One thing that I recommend you do before you actually do the actual bookcase styling is to lay everything out on the floor. That way you can do a pan view across all the books and then judge by eye, you know, the layout of all the colors and where everything will go. A successful bookcase for me starts even before the accessories and the books. As you can see here, this bookcase has a beautiful arch top and I painted the back of the bookcase a beautiful cherry red with a contrasting trim in chocolate. It explodes even before anything's on the shelves. One of the things that's important for me when I'm styling a bookcase is to keep the books towards the front of the book, bookcase frame. I find that a lot of people make the mistake of tucking things too far back and um, that it doesn't help animate the bookcase as much as I'd like. And you should always take a step back and look and see how it's coming along as you're going along. Now, it's important to sort of take a look and see that there is good color balance. Color balance is the most important thing on a bookcase for me. If you have too many reds all concentrated in one corner, or you have too many browns all together in one place, I like to spread it out. I like to have a lot of layering as well. You know, that plate behind the books adds you know, just another dimension, which I think is super interesting. And a little splash of color never hurts. 
voila, there you go. My bookcase is done. What do you think? To recap, a successful bookcase starts with some beautiful architecture and some color, and then a beautiful balance of interesting objects and books. Hello, hello everybody! What's going on? I'm Justina Blakeney, founder and creative director of Jungalo. I am thrilled to be here today with House Beautiful to share how I like to style a bookshelf. For me, styling a bookcase is all about storage and display. What do you need to put on the bookcase and what do you want to put on there to show off your personality and show a little bit about who you are or who you want to be or who lives in your home. For me, I love art and design books. My husband has a lot of books on mathematics and science, so bringing those two types of books together. And then um, I think about books when I'm styling in three different ways. I think about uh, lining them up vertically. I think about creating platforms with the books and laying them horizontally. Then I put in some other stuff, a little thing I like to call botanicals and bling. I think it's really important to have things that breathe life into your space. And so for me, having um, plants or you know flowers or anything like that that can really add that lush botanical look, that's my signature look. That's one of the things I'm known for. I think of plants in a few different ways when I'm styling them on a bookcase like this. Um, first, I like to have plants that cascade, right? So you kind of create this, this beautiful moment where it draws your eye from the top all the way down to the bottom of the shelf. So this is a beautiful philodendron and it really creates sort of a lot of movement and it sort of softens the bookshelf as well. I also love plants that are perky and give you that kind of feeling and so for me um, I added a couple of extra plants here that do really breathe life into the space and um, you know of course the vessels also are very important so I have vessels with unique shapes that kind of can be a sculpture in and of itself and so I do like to think of plants as living sculptures and it's a great way to add personality to your bookshelf as well. Another thing that I love is having a little bit of bling. So I said botanicals and bling, where's the bling? I like to have little elements that shimmer. So it could be a little bit of gold, a little bit of glass, a little bit of silver, whatever that thing is that sort of lights you up that can reflect light and create that botanicals and bling moment. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Hi, I'm Tina Ramchandani, and today we're gonna learn how to style a bookshelf. We're gonna work on creating a warm, modern look while still blending two different styles. We're also adding in things that I've collected on my travels, so this is a box from Morocco. There you have it. We've completed our bookcase. I have included magazines because I'm constantly trying to keep up with my magazines and I don't have time. So we've stacked them here in an organized way so I can get to them. We've combined our books so they're not all design related. Um, it's a bookcase for the whole family. And we've added some greenery because I think that plants really bring it to life. We're using succulents in this case because it's not a high light level location. So we can keep these alive fairly easily with a little bit of water once a week and some objects that we've collected on our travels. Hi everyone, it's Nicole Fuller. So you can see behind me, the bookshelf is a great fun pop of color, which I love. It's Cinder Rose from Fowler and Ball, but the shelves look kind of blase and they're a little empty at the moment. So we're gonna spruce them up. One of the most important things is to just find objects and books and, and things around the house that you love and that inspire you and make sure the bookshelf has some breath around it. What I love to do with my books is to take 
some of the paper covers off because underneath those paper covers are these gorgeous linen inner covers and the texture is amazing and just mixing and matching the linen covers with the tatter covers and the paper covers right there will give you such a great refresh. Well, we did it. That's our bookshelf. I hope you guys had fun and I was able to inspire you and give you some great tips and pointers on how to refresh your space. I am Leanne Ford and we are designing a shelf. We are rolling. Love a good edit. Okay, here we go. I hung the shelf myself. I just want to tell you, what if it just crashed right now? <laughs> all right, here we go. So the biggest thing I want to tell you is it's all about height, dimension, and high, low, wide, skinny, all of that stuff. So we're going to play with it. So first of all, I love doing art. Um, I always lean some art, and I never really, I don't hang it that much in these kind of settings because it's more fun to lean it and then um, play with kind of moving it around. So here we go, three different things unrelated to kitchen in any way, and that's good for me. I like the colors. Any pretty plate of veggies or fruit, and then I wanted to tell you, make note, take the stickers off. When you bring your fruit and veggies home, take the stickers off, it feels so much prettier. Okay, that's big. Uh, put that there. I like to put the heavy stuff where the anchors are because I hung it. So let's be extra careful. All right, this picture with some pretty dried branches I got from outside. I always have tomatoes because all I eat is tomatoes. And then some pretty flowers from the garden on their last blend, but man, they still look good. And then I like this is so that we know what time it is for every girl for her nap time and bedtime. And then little pretty things. These are the, um, this is the spices that I took out of the ugly thing they came in, put them in a cool little weird bowl, and now they're much better. And then don't forget to play, like we play high-low dimension. This is the scary old mezcal I found. Some bacon, I mean sage. Um, and there we go, what do we do? It's kind of that easy. Don't forget to tune in next week for another Style Improvise. Like and subscribe to our channel below. See you next week.